Let's look at the rule of thirds in action. This is pretty much a straight out of the camera crop. Um, it's a two by three aspect ratio, the same thing that would make a four by six print. Here our tiger swallowtail butterfly is feeding on a crepe myrtle flower. And uh, it's out of camera, not too bad. Um, you know, I kind of followed the rule of shoot tight, crop tighter, and you know it's pretty good to start with. But there are some improvements we can make. So let's use the cropping tool. And let's start with our two by three aspect ratio crop. And you can, this puts the rule of thirds line on the screen so you can kind of see how your composition is lining up. Now, I have a little bit of space here at the bottom of the butterfly. I've got some on the right side and very little. You do want to leave a little bit of space because if you choose to print this and frame it, frames can sometimes take an eighth to a quarter of an inch of the picture um, to be behind the actual frame. So you want to leave just a little bit of breathing room, but not a whole lot. So this can be tightened up probably to about here. And if we look at that, that's fairly reasonable. Uh, but let's consider some other print shapes. Let's look at a five by seven print. Okay. And we'll have to zoom it back out just a little bit because the way Photoshop works. And to kind of maintain that, we've tightened it up some more, but we now have this little bit of distracting branch over here. And this little bright spot of this branch is kind of taking your eye away from the subject a little bit. So maybe we would not want to do this at a five by seven. Let's consider a four by five, or what we would commonly refer to in print terms as an eight by 10 aspect ratio. Uh, so we'll kind of go the same thing. We'll have to adjust the crop markers back out just a little bit. Uh, probably just a little bit more on the bottom there. And that is a very workable crop. Okay, that would look nice on anybody's wall. Um, but I think we can do even better if we go to a square. Square is a one by one aspect ratio. Now in this particular case, just reshift it here a little bit to get the butterfly on the screen. And then I'm gonna loosen it up just a little bit. And when I do that, you'll notice I've got the butterfly's eye exactly on this rule of thirds line. The flowers in the crepe myrtle fill up one third of the frame. The colorful wing of the butterfly fills up the middle third of the frame. And the third part of the frame has the last part of the wing, a little bit of background to give it some perspective. This is a very solid crop and composition of this photo. So let's commit that, we'll click the check mark, and now we have our final print. That's the rule of thirds in action.